even think of how you're doing or something. So know how your partner is. You choose, you have to choose between if you want a boy or you want a man. That is the whole thing. <laughs> so now what is it with men, mm. maybe if they discover mm. that they have some sexual problems? Mm. Uh, Let's say maybe I haven't addressed it to you. Mm -hmm. And then why is it most of men, they go outside and test if the problem is with them or it's with the partner, they don't find them attractive. Why, why, why they always want to go and check somewhere first to understand if the problem is with them or is at home. In the beginning, I told you men are moved by what they see. So, in order to know that he still can perform or not perform, mm. okay, why don't I try this and see? Mm. And for all you know, to you, he's not performing. Mm. Um, you start nagging at home. Mm. Someone somewhere is giving him peace. Mm. So therefore, you have no option than to jump into that. And then do men... And if he goes there and he performs perfectly, then that means you are in serious danger or trouble. Fine. Mm. But would you admit mm. when you have a problem as a man that, yes, I have a problem, I need help? Yes, that is what I was saying. No man wants to be called a pussy, excuse me, for yeah. my language. No man French. wants to be called a low link or something or a weak a weak link. Mm. No. So you will never admit that you have a problem. You always find excuses that oh it's maybe it's work or maybe it's my Godzilla in, in order to achieve that. Oh I don't have money. Wait, wait, wait. In order to achieve that, mm. let him trust you. Okay. That is when you give him peace. He'll mm -hmm. be able to tell you. But you know men we, we are that type that we don't really mm. care about certain stuff. Mm.